Here's some Facebook targeting strategy you can use to get to 500 bucks a day. What's going on everyone, Ryan Melnick back here with another video and in today's video we are going to be talking about how you can target on Facebook in 2019, 2020 and beyond to make at least $500 per day in sales. So before we jump in and get started with this video, do want to mention we did uh, talk about a giveaway in the last video where we're gonna be giving away one free 15 minute coaching call with myself. So what we're gonna do is everybody that commented on that video is gonna be pushed right now into a random little queue here including myself on accident here because I commented as well. But guys, only a few people commenting. Do want to mention, if you're watching this video right now, make sure that you stay tuned to all the videos that I post. That's why I want you to subscribe. Turn those notification bells on so you can win free coaching calls, free course access, stuff like that. So the winner to the giveaway is... Chop Luke. Congratulations, Chop, my friend. Welcome in to the free coaching call massive value session. We are going to do that. So make sure that you shoot me a message on Instagram at ryan.melnick. Shoot me a DM. We'll get that coaching call set up. Okay, awesome. So let's jump into the value right now. So we're going to get this out of the way, get that last video out of the way as well here. And what we're going to do is actually jump into where the value starts. So what I did is I pulled up a very common product that people are running nowadays. It's one of those skin uh, product things that you know, like makes your skin youthful, not wrinkly, right? And, uh, you know, the niche is essentially skincare. Now, skincare, we'll mention, is um, a little bit more competitive than a lot of these other industries out here. There's a lot of reasons for that, but I'm not going to go in too depth on that. Just from what I've seen statistically and just the competition overall, if you target interests like just skincare and stuff like that, you're going to find uh, that the competition is higher, which means the CPMs are higher, which means it's going to be more costly for us to make it profitable in the long term. So the question is, using these $3, $5 budgets, stuff like that, how can we find some good audiences to test and find some success to make sure we find audiences in the long term that are gonna be successful for us? So at least, let's say we're doing these $3 budgets here. One way that we can do it is we can come in here, we're just doing a basic targeting US 21 plus, people who speak English, right? We're gonna come in here, we're gonna type in skincare. And I'm not saying we're actually gonna use skincare. Uh, I'm not saying you shouldn't, should or shouldn't um, test this interest, but from my experience, every time I've tested this interest, it's been really competitive and really expensive. Now, interests like it, that's not necessarily true, but skincare specifically, that one specific interest has been expensive for me, so I am not actually gonna test it. What I'm gonna do is look at skin. That can be one um, that we potentially test, that's 40 million people, that's a lot more than I typically go with. So we're gonna be looking at some others uh, using these two interests that, because remember, when we put interests in here, it's gonna give us suggestions that are most alike those two interests. So if we put in something else, it's gonna basically combine all the different interests. So skin and skincare, okay, let's see what overlaps. Okay, the most suggested, uh, the most suggested um, keywords and most similar words are gonna pop up below here. So let's say we start with facial, okay? because that's gonna be less than, um, than either of these. So we start with facial, that's gonna be one of our interests. We would pop out, do one ad set for that, pop into the next one, and come in and do another one, right? Let's say we come in and do another one. And this is just us using the suggestion tool for some of the big overarching interests. We don't have to always do skincare and skin to see what those suggestions might be. Um, we're just looking to see things that are very similar. Um, you guys have seen my, my targeting videos, the um, flexing on the method and the, uh, what's the other one? And the tree branch targeting method. You've seen those methods, so you know kind of what I'm talking about if you've seen those videos. So when I say, oh, we can do some magazines here, you know that that's a little bit of a different niched out um, subject, but it just gives us another thing that we can target here. 13 million, a little bit more than we would normally target, but not a big deal. Okay, so no, another way to find some good interest, because all we're doing right now is just looking for some good interest. And obviously, this is not how we would break it down. We break it down uh, ad set by ad set. We'd have one with, now we have one with skin, or whatever that first one was, facial, another one with women's health, maybe another one with just skin, depending on the audience sizes. But let's come in here and let's just type in some of these things. Let's type in skin, skincare. Because skincare is the, the main overarching, over, overarching interest, so we'll just keep that. It's just that specific interest, at least for me, has been ex extremely costly. Um, this, I just covered women. Now, we could do men and women. Uh, what I did was just women. The reason I did this is because with this sort of product, it's unlikely. Now, it is possible, but it's unlikely. There's going to be a bunch of men out here buying this gift for their wives. Um, it's way more likely that when you run a male-dominated product that women are going to be buying that male-dominated product for their husbands, for their friends, for their boyfriends, whatever it may be, rather than uh, males buying uh, for their wives. It's just 
Women dominated products are where we want to go after, but you can find male dominated products where women are buying them for their husbands. Uh, but guys, it's very unlikely we're going to find a woman dominated product bought by males. So especially with this sort of um, very self uh, self aware con conservativeness kind of thing, where they're fixing you know uh, something with their body, it's not going to be something where males are going to buy. So I cut out women entirely. If you want to test men, I wouldn't you know scold you for that or anything like that. Um, but we're just coming here to find some good interest. Okay, so we typed in skincare. We're looking at some other, uh, based on page likes, we can use some. The Mint Julep Boutique is always one that pops up. Um, and I think it is actually an interest in here. I'm pretty sure I've tested before. I never really had some massive success with it, but it is one that pops up. Ulta Beauty is one that would pop up ultimately in the uh, suggestion tool as well if we did some more research in there. It Cosmetics, I've seen that before. Uh, a lot of these are just cosmetics brands and you can use some of those. Um, you can also put in more interest to try to you know change things up a little bit. Let's say facial ended up working really well for us. We could come in here and just use facial. See, it's very similar stuff here, but we could take out um, skincare entirely and just look at facial and it changes up a little bit. There's some more boutiques in here, uh, some more, some more um, places to shop, stuff like that. Okay, so we're just trying to find as many interests as we possibly can so we can learn more. Whoops, skincare three. Uh, so we can learn more, a little bit more about our audience. Um, and our target customer, right? So we're coming into Google Trends now, which is a great tool I do love to use. Obviously, it's gonna be very high on average over time because skincare is not something, ultimately, that's gonna be, oh, like, you know, spikes. It's not a seasonal product or anything like that. Uh, Kylie Jenner, um, some breakout candidates, some related queries, stuff like that that comes up, shows you the main states. So if you want to, you can break it down state by state. I don't do this too often just because I like to test the United States as a whole because the audiences aren't going to be huge anyway for the most part unless you're typing, you're literally you know running targeted ads to skincare. It's going to be pretty big, but the smaller interest, you're getting that one to 10 million range. You don't necessarily want to cut it down by state by state, but you absolutely can. If you see a trend, skincare, facial, you know, Neutrogena, uh, Ulta Cosmetics, and it's all New York, Hawaii, California, Washington, Arizona are the top five. Feel free to do that. Like that is all based off of you, what you want to do and, and just going out and testing, right? So another thing I want to do here is just go and type in some things, see some suggested pop-ups that come up. You know, it should give us a feel, kind of give us more understanding of what's going on here. Okay, so it's got, you know, a bunch of stuff in my area uh, as of, you know, Google Google Maps here for, for places I could go. Skincare, beauty and skincare, a lot of beauty. Like we're looking up stuff that's just going to like infiltrate our brain. Uh, Bloomingdale's could be another interest. We just found a store about that. Korean skincare. Um, we could go check out some of these websites and get in the mind of our uh, target customer and start to read through some articles like, Breast reduction surgery. Okay, that's something that's that's interesting because now we're talking about this is an article that was very um, very SEO friendly to skincare. Literally typing in is the one of the first articles that popped up. It's about breast reduction. That's interesting. So maybe going on Google, we type in breast reduction. I'll be careful. You don't want to see what's going to pop up there. Maybe you type it in on Google Trends. Maybe you type it in different places to see what comes up. Maybe it's very close to an interest on Facebook. There's a lot of things we could do here, okay? Demi Moore. There's a reason why. These people are spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on this ad right here because there are hundreds of thousands of people visiting this website, okay? So there is something to be said for Demi Moore popping up here, okay? So just interest. I, I literally am not, I haven't done this before. You know, I'm just doing this off of the um, off the cuff right here. There's something to be said about Demi Moore and perfect skin. It shows right there. There's something to be said for it, okay? Because there is value there. You type in Demi Moore, Pier 1 comes up. Casserole Kitchen. Would these things have come up before? Not necessarily. So now we can go out and test that. We can go test you know, more audiences with that $3 budget. I'm just kind of trying to put a little bit of sauce, a little bit of dancing, a little bit of just flow through your mind so that you can go and do some of these things, okay? There are reasons why these things are posted. Kim Kardashian, that's another one. She, Kim Kardashian, Kylie Jenner, those people are associated with perfect lives, perfect skin, perfect people, perfect women. And that is interesting for people that are looking to potentially buy a product like this. So I'm just trying to help you guys find more of those interests. These are some of the things that I will do to get myself in the mind of the customer so that I can go and find those great interests. And what I would suggest, in order to get that three, four, five hundred dollars a day, guys, all you really need to do is push 20 ad sets at three bucks a pop. Do that, look at your KPIs in the next day or two, Cut the ones that don't work and then do it again. Test another 20 ad, ad sets at three bucks a pop. Kill those ad sets. And then guys, if you do that four or five times over a week or two, you're going to have, you know, as long as the ad is working and that's what you need to you know, look at is, is this bringing me purchase and is it profitable when it's bringing me purchase? Over the span of, you know, a week or two, you're going to have five, six, seven ad sets that you can vertically scale up to that, you know, I don't know, 
let's say $12 a pop of each over two weeks and you have five of them, let's say you're spending $60 a day and you're getting a good return of four times that, that'd be $240 in sales a day that you're only spending $60 on. Then you can ultimately scale that up. And guys, in a month's time, you could be running $500 a day easily through your store in sales and be doing something like two to $300 in profit after your product cost. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Teach you guys a little bit more how to put your mind into the customer, how to find those good interests to get to that $500 a day in sales. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for coming in, and I'll see you all in the next video.